Forget it. Try some sap further down the lake. And it will. That was a pike. A giant pike. It's 12 feet long. And it eats people. It's only rehearsing at the moment, but come this summer, holiday makers here in the Lake District will hear these shores ringing with the terrified screams of bit part actors being turned into bits by a mechanical pike. <laughs> the pike being the star of the very latest in monster movies. A star that doesn't take its cues from some young hotshot director, but from a computer. It's the work of a firm here in the Lake District which specializes in underwater engineering equipment. And what they've built is a sort of distant cousin of those remotely controlled vehicles that search the North Sea for oil. Its buoyancy in the water comes from compressed air cylinders. And these same cylinders charge the pneumatic system, which drives all the moving parts. And here's how it works. An instruction from the surface computer passes through the microcircuits in the control box to open one of these valves. Air is then released through a tube to one of eight pneumatic rams. Each ram works by pushing and pulling. So, feeding air into alternate ends of this ram moves the tail fin from side to side. Attached to the ram is a cogwheel which acts as a sensor, signalling back to the computer when each movement reaches its program position. And that's how this mechanical fish gets about. There's no motor, just a tail assembly in three hinge sections, each one driven independently by its own ram. And by coordinating the three, the fish should move under its own tail power. In fact, it should behave just like the real thing. But on its debut here today, the pike has already run up against its first teething problem. A key component in the tail section, one of those sensors we showed you earlier, has jammed and that severely reduced any forward movement. So right now, this vicious pike looks about as menacing as a fish finger. But be warned, these lakes will be safe for only so long.